He has 22 fences to be jumped this time in the ninth running under coral sponsorship of this Welsh national. Heiko over on the far side, the early leader from Bridge Ash and Midday Gun. Right hand man towards the outside is Knock Hill. They swing left handed here. Heiko from Bridge Ash and Triska. And on the inside, Midday Gun, Northern Bay, Knock Hill. Right hand man and P.T. Sandy, the 1981 winner. And quite a long run to the first of the 22 fences. With Heiko taking him along. The Midday Gun on the inside of Bridge Ash. In comes Triska. Northern Bay and Knock Hill. Then Androma and right hand man and Cobley Express. And Planet Man. Polvia, little Polvia, the uh, back marker at the moment. And they're all safely over the first. Their kinsman didn't jump it too quickly in rear. First ditch, Heiko lands in the lead from Midday Gun. A very good jump by him. They're all safely over it. But uh, P.D. Sandy wasn't very fluent at it, and he's dropped back last. And all safely over the third. Racing towards the water now for the first time with Heiko in the lead from Bridge Ash and Triska and Midday Gun. Then comes Knock Hill and Right Hand Man and Northern Bay on the inside and then Planet Man and Honor Promise. And behind Honor Promise is Androma and behind Androma is Cumbie. Then Cobbly Express as they jump the fifth. Heiko landed in the lead from Triska on the outside. P.T. Sandy, the 81 winner, well in rear at the moment. Heiko towards the right of the picture as they jump the sixth from Triska, midday gun just in behind them. That was little Paul Vier you saw jumping the fence last. Now a long run towards the home turn on the first circuit. With the runners right out in the gloom in this deteriorating uh, visibility at Chepstow. But Heiko, still the leader from Triska. Bridge Ash comes next, just in behind him, Midday Gun on the inside and then Knock Hill and Northern Bay is still well there, just in behind the leaders and right hand man also. Another plain fence this time, the first in the straight, number seven of the 22 fences in all. Triska towards the left, Heiko towards the right. Very little between them. Knock Hill is right up there behind them. And right hand man as they come to the second of the four ditches. Heiko from Triska. Right hand man towards the stand side with Knock Hill very close to. Coming to the ninth. Heiko, Planet Man, in between he and Triska. Then comes Knock Hill and Right Hand Man and Midday Gun on the far side and Bridge Ash and behind Bridge Ash is Northern Bay. And Droma not far behind the leaders. As they run down to the fence, will be the last on the next circuit. Planet Man lands in the lead from Heiko on the far side, then Triska, then Right Hand Man, and then Knock Hill, and behind uh, Knock Hill, Midday Gun, then Hardy Lad, and Northern Bay, and Honor Promise, and Androma, and Bridge Ash, and behind Bridge Ash is Cumbie, behind uh, Cumbie is Tacroy, and Little Peaver is the back marker, Little Polvia, rather, is the back marker, and Planet Man, one of the two Monica Dickinson runners, and this one of the three trained by women, and women have won this race in the last three years. Planet Man from Trisco has been right up there from the outset. Heiko now back in third. Then Knock Hill and Right Hand Man together, being tracked by Midday Gun. Just towards the outside of Midday Gum is Androma, the Scottish national winner, then Hardy Ladd and Northern Bay and Cumbian on a promise, and Bridge Ash getting a reminder. A kinsman getting a little bit closer. 
Tacroy on the inside. Little Paul Vera is still the back marker. Coming to the 12th, Planet Man in the lead from Triska and Heiko in third. Then Midday Gun and Right Hand Man and Hardy Lad. And behind them come Northern Bay and then Androma, then Cumby, then a Kinsman still making ground over the third ditch. Planet Man landed in the lead there. Behind uh, Planet Man, Triska still. Then right hand man as they jump the 14th and Hardy Lad and Heiko on the inner and midday gun. And they're all still standing as they come to the water for the last time. Triska on the outside of Planet Man, Heiko, Heart, right hand man next. And then comes Knock Hill, then Southern Bay, then Hardy Lad making ground. And so is a kinsman. So six left to jump now, and right out in the murk at uh, Chepstow here. Planet Man lands in the lead from Heiko. Slight uh, mistake there by Hardy Lad. Triska right up in third. Then comes Right Hand Man in fourth, with very close to him, Knock Hill. Then Midday Gun. A kinsman is still making ground. And a long run now to the fifth from home. And still quite closely grouped up front. Planet Man from Triska. Then right hand man and Knock Hill. A kinsman still making a little bit of ground as they race down towards the fifth last. Coming to the fifth last. Planet Man over on the far side from Triska on the near side. Planet Man lands in the lead from Triska. Then right hand man, Heiko over on the far side. Planet Man with the advantage from Triska. Right hand man on the near side. Planet Man, oh, Planet Man very nearly gone there. Has he gone? Triska's taking the advantage anyway as they come down to the third last. And it's Triska with the challenger now, right hand man. Lucky Vane is improving well, too. Triska lands in the lead from Right Hand Man. Racing now towards the last, and it's Right Hand Man on the near side. At the second last, Right Hand Man from Triska. Right Hand Man, Tackroy coming there quite strongly. A kinsman is a faller there, and it's Right Hand Man with the advantage as they come towards the last. Right Hand Man lands in the lead from over on the far side, Hardy Lad and Lucky Vane in third as he was two year, last year and racing up towards the line. Right hand man racing up towards the line that it's right hand man going to win it from Lucky Vane in second and Planet Man third and Tackroy four. That's the result. Right hand man, Lucky Vane, Planet Man and Tackroy. The one, two, three, four in the Coral Welsh National. First, so. It's been won for the fourth time in accession, succession by a woman trainer. The winner, number two, right-hand man, owned by Mrs. M.M. M. Haggis, trained by Mrs. Monica Dickinson and ridden by Graham Bradley. Second was number three, Lucky Vane, owned by Miss Bridget Swire, trained by Toby Balding and ridden by John Burke. And third was number 14, the stable companion of the winner, a remarkable feat by Mrs. Dickinson. Third was number 14, Planet Man, owned by Mrs. Jane Lane, trained by Mrs. Monica Dickinson, ridden by Robert Earnshaw. And fourth was number six, the big outside gamble of the race, Tackroy. Well, appalling visibility here at Chepstow, but one thing we did see was the terrible mistake that uh, Planet Man made at the first in the straight, and a really remarkable recovery there by Robert Earnshaw. Look at him, he's absolutely gone over the horse's neck, but luckily the horse has helped him, and Robert riding with that uh, great length of leg, he's been able to ease himself back into the saddle. Whether that cost him the race or not, who knows, but it certainly cost him half a dozen lengths. That left a wide open race, but his stable companion was very quickly in front. That's right-hand man who comes to join Triska at the third last and jumps it really well. They're in the air together there. Triska just a fractionally the leader. Making up ground in fourth or fifth place there is Lucky Vane, who's run a terrific race. And fallers are behind there. That looks like bread, Jash, but as you can see, the gloom is intense now. 
Brad, who was so confident beforehand of right-hand man, now knows that he's got the race in his grasp. But Tacroy on the stand side makes a mistake there when he looked like having a terrific chance of landing off uh, uh, the owner's gamble. And the mistake, the faller there was a kinsman who was close enough to have possibly run into a place. But now going down to the last, Graham Bradley drives his mount into a three-length lead just uh, puts him right at it. Lucky Vane battles on to move into second place. Planet Man on the far side is running on again. And Tatroy's a tired horse in fourth place on the stand side going on. But Graham Bradley, the man with the broken bone in his right hand, isn't going to give it away now. And luckily, the horse doesn't need maximum assistance. He's completing a hat trick of wins under 11 stone five. And he runs away for a famous victory in these really searching conditions. Again, Lucky Vane's run a marvelous race meets a horse who on the day was unbeatable and back in third it's planet man so right hand man number 23 of the season for monica dickinson and number 24 for graham Bradley. And women trainers triumphant in this race first run back in 1895 in 1981 triumphant in 1982 83 and now in 1984